It's called Locked In Syndrome, a condition where people with normal cognitive brain activity suffer severe paralysis, often from injuries or an illness like Lou Gehrig's disease. Locked in people are unable to move at all except possibly their eyes, and so they, they're left with no means of communication, but they're fully conscious. With support from the National Science Foundation, neuroscientist Frank Gunther and a team of researchers are working to help locked in patients by studying how brain regions interact, developing ways to meld mind and machine. These people who have no other means of communication can start to control a computer that can uh, produce words for them or the robot and then allow them to interact with the world. This volunteer shows us how she uses a speech synthesizer to make vowel sounds just by thinking about moving a hand or foot. She never moves her body. We use an EEG cap to read the brain signals coming from her brain through her scalp. Gunther and the team track the brain waves with the computer. Depending on what body part she imagines moving, the cursor moves in different directions on the screen. We translate those brain activities into audio signals that can be used to drive a voice synthesizer. We've mapped the oo sound to a left hand movement, the ah sound to a right hand movement, and the e sound to a foot movement. In another experiment, grad student Sean Lorenz takes this robot out for a spin using only brain waves. The checkerboards on the sides of the screen flash at slightly different frequencies. To the naked eye, the differences are subtle, but... The neurons in his visual cortex start firing in synchrony with the checkerboard that he's looking at, and so we can pick up the frequency and from that determine which choice he was trying to make. Gunther says technology holds great promise for locked-in patients. If they're pointing their eyes at a visual screen, they can focus their attention on one of the different frequencies and they can manipulate then what happens uh, in a robot or in a computer. Pairing biology with technology to find a way out for those who are locked in. For Science Nation, I'm Miles O'Brien.